I wanted to start out by talking about our honored guest tonight, a friend to stage right, the positivity pill. He's been getting a workout lately. It's, you know, the time of year where we need a little extra positivity. He's been working hard. I, I don't know how many people have actually been here long enough to actually know where he came from. And I'm not, I'm not talking about the little stuffed animal. I'm talking about the original idea, which was to become willfully more positive and that everything we've done in the last two years sort of stemmed out in this, from this simple idea of just trying to be more positive. It, you know, it reminds me of something Thomas Hobbes said. He said that life is nasty, brutish, and like my little friend here, kind of short. And we had a question that came up that night, which was, do we have to be nasty? Can't we just choose not to? Maybe opt to not be brutal, because let's face it, folks, life's pretty damn short. If you tear open my friend, you're going to find a lot of things similar to you and me. You're going to find some fluff. You're going to find something inside that is designed to make a hellish noise. <laughs> and you're going to find a hopefully never-ending font of intentional positivity. I have heard lately some stories about people getting challenged about this. I mean, inside the bubble here, you know, we're in the bubble now. I'm not going to lie. This is like our own little camp, and everybody here is positive. Scream real loud if you're positive. <laughs> Okay, you either need to join us or go. I'm kidding. Everybody screamed really, really loud, and that's good. We're in the bubble. We're all together. For, for a little while, we put the world out there, and we're in the bubble, and that works great if you're in the bubble. It's the rest of the week that it becomes a problem. It's very easy to say, hey, I'm a positive person when everything's going really well, and we're getting in the paper, and total strangers are coming by to see us, and everything's awesome. It's tougher when somebody calls you a jerk for being so positive, and that happens. Or worse, they call you saccharine or disingenuine or fake. It's a, pretty, it's a pretty tough thing to sit there and continue to be actually positive, not going, yeah, I'm positive now. That's easy. But it's tougher to be, it's tougher to be positive when, when you've, you've got that on you. I mean, if, if I'm in a burning building, well, that would suck. But if I was in a burning building, I would not be sitting around moping about the burning building. I'd be looking for a door. And you might say, well, that's the obvious thing to focus on. Well, that's all being positive is. Yes, I'm a cynic, and I focus on the fact that right now may not be as good as it could be. There's the best possible outcome, not dying in a fire. I'm on my way. And my goal, truthfully, I think that's more important to keep my eye on that goal than it is any other. I think it's much more important for me to go, your personal evolution and my personal evolution and my growth and our growth is way more important than standing here and moping about how bad it sucks. That is really hard to do out in the world because you know what? I've heard this phrase. I've read this phrase in print recently. Some people just don't get it. You're right. Some people don't. And no amount of you jumping up and down can change that. No amount of me thumping my chest and going, you don't get it is going to make them get it. That's OK, too. But it's really important when I'm out there talking to people that maybe I keep that in mind in my approach on how I talk to them. And so what's awesome this week is not positivity, yay, it's fun, but positivity like it turned up the night it actually was born. There were a group of us sitting at a party on New Year's Eve, moping really badly because a friend of mine was about to ship off to Afghanistan. And all of us sat around and said, we can look at this as a bad thing, or we can look at this as pretty soon we're going to get to celebrate someone coming home. And that night, Pilly was born. He's been with us ever since, and he's changed our community. And I thank you for taking a pill when you talk to people and being a part of our world. <laughs>